exactly. But yeah, it seems like anytime there's a earthquake during a newscast, it goes viral. And different. Everybody sees it. <laughs> it's so different though from the one that was in LA on KTLA. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, how he jumped under the desk and it was yeah. sort of oh, more yeah. action. This there, one was very tranquil. Varying degrees. <laughs> that, was a, that was a light one. They kept it light. <laughs> uh, all right, something else we're keeping light is your forecast for you. Although we do have a chance of rain beginning to enter that seven day. For today, when you look out over toward Del Mar, it was awfully gray. The clouds actually reappeared. We were looking at those clouds forecasting to thicken up a tad. And with that, producing the chance of some thunderstorms to roll through probably within the next 12 to 36 hours. Today, out over toward Escondido, 83 degrees. I had forecast 84 for inland locations, so just off there around one. Those clouds are beginning to move back on in. Temperature wise, is still feeling comfortable. Chula Vista in the upper 60s at 67. Oceanside now sitting at around 70 degrees. San Diego is also dealing with plenty of warmth in downtown, looking at around 69. Noticing our winds 5 miles per hour. Today, they did gust close to that 15 mile per hour range. Tomorrow, should be 10. Except out over toward the mountain and deserts, you could again see your winds up to around 20 miles per hour. In the tropics, this is where the action really is. Uh, we actually have two systems Tropical Storm Karina, this one about 1,700 miles away from Baja. Another one, this one, Tropical Storm Lowell, and that one about 750 miles away from Baja. We actually could see. Tropical storm lull actually impact our forecast. Not as much as what we earlier predicted, though. So we had this low pressure system come on down today, and that's why temperatures were a little bit cooler. We thought that the moisture was going to actually be right on time for that low pressure system to swing on through, and with that energy, produce a good chance for some thunderstorms. We're backing off on that energy or on this timing of the moisture just a little bit. So although we are going to get the low to arrive tomorrow, 10 to 20 percent chance of rain because it will be fairly moisture starved. By the time this tropical storm gets close enough to the southwest, that low will already be gone and that moisture is going to skip on over uh, to our south and then maybe enter out over toward Arizona again. So your rain cloud forecast tomorrow morning at about 7 a.m. Just a 10 percent chance of some morning showers free out over toward Carlsbad, Del Mar, even through downtown San Diego and even into National City. The clouds are going to break away for the most part at around noon. Inland areas, beautiful for you in Alpine, Ramona, and even into Fallbrook. Maybe some cloud coverage lingering along the coastline, trying to push their way out over toward Poway, but I think most of it will be short-lived. We will get that energy coming our way, so remember that 10% chance of rain will exist by 10 p.m., although not really indicating any green on the screen here just quite yet. We'll wait for that moisture really to begin to arrive as we head through Thursday. However, it looks like the culprit, that storm system, will try to nudge its way on out, so it might just miss it. Just barely miss it so that at 9 a.m. just waking up to a few clouds along the coastline. If there is any chance of rain on Thursday, that's actually going to be out over toward the mountain and desert communities. Probably around 11 a.m. You can see a little bit of green there for Palm Springs, entering out over toward Borrego most likely and even into Julian. Not anticipating a whole lot of rainfall there. Heading into the waters tomorrow, even though there are two storm systems out there, fair conditions for you surfers with your swell out of the south. Southwest, two to three footers. You'll see your high tide coming in just before 8 a.m. with a water temperature there of 65 to 72 degrees. Seven-day forecast. 75 degrees tomorrow, that 10% chance of rain jumping up to 78 Thursday. That will be above average as we lose the clouds. 79 Friday and then jumping into the 80s for next work week. Inland 80 degrees, an isolated thunderstorm possible for you. Temperatures then jump up on Thursday. Notice we missed that moisture completely and you're ending up looking at plenty of sunshine Thursday and Friday. The mountains 75 degrees, a 20% chance of rainfall for you tomorrow and into the deserts looking at the 90s, not the triple digits. That's the good news coming up. Guys? Thank you very much, Sabrina.